of BeamNG Drive. Now, just gonna get another vehicle here other than the Gravel D, I think it is. Yeah, the Gravel D series. Um, I'm gonna go into here, and as you'll probably tell by the name of the video, I'm gonna be doing some drifts. So, if this is actually load now. Yep, there we go. Because this car is epic at drifts. Because I spent hours the other day just trying to drift it. Oh, never mind. Scrub it sure drifting into them. It seems really like it, and that's probably because it's running 24 frames a second. When usually games like this can run at thing, well, Kerbal Space Program at least can run at almost 60 FPS constantly. Like, usually it's around 50, 59, like 58, 59 maybe. But 58 is the lowest I've ever got with Kerbal Space Program when it's not loading. But here we go. Still going. I'm amazed by this car. It's even got a blocked view, but it still drives, and it's still controllable. Oh, oh. There. <laughs> what a way to stop. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, great, I forgot to put on timer. No. You know what? Um, where's... Okay, right, it's 53 past. I think I started this about roughly three minutes ago. So, at five past... Yeah, five past seven should be the time I stop. Whoa! Okay, not exactly very good into designing there. If it's gonna get your car and stop it instantly. Okay, oh. Oh, that destroyed it. Not as much as, oh wait, no, probably destroyed it more than that. Can it still drive? No, I think I might have broken the drive shaft. But the only way to tell is go onto this and add the vehicle damage app to go there. Good. Yeah, it broke the drive shaft. Now, let's go. It's actually really good at almost everything, this Hirochi Sunburst custom. Um, it's brilliant on this, it's brilliant on the you know, on dirt, as you saw just then. And now I like, obviously it isn't so good in water, I mean, nothing can actually survive the, nothing in the vanilla game can survive the water pits, but, like, nothing can survive the very deepest bit of these water pits here, it's, it's, it's even better at drifting on this. Yeah, because nothing can survive that depth. And there it is hydrolocked already. So, if I bring it back to there. Now I'm going to test it on the sand. It, you know, the water, you can just see how deep everything gets. I mean, the only reason why it isn't going deeper in the sand, I think, is because the base can't sink. But... The water is ex is exactly the same on the floor as the sand and everything like that. So it's gradually getting deeper. So oh, it's actually got surprisingly good control on this. As you can see, it gradually gets more traction. No, I Right at the very beginning it had like 5 miles an hour I think, I didn't see. But you can get 
See, and there you go, up to 20, and then comes off and goes up to 30. Instantly, pretty much. Now if I try mud, it's much quicker to do it like this. Test. The mud doesn't actually seem as bad anyway. And obviously ground is absolutely fine. Because the ground's basically, it's, it's all just solid, so... Nothing actually happens. Oh, that was close. And fair enough, I did some pretty bad damage to the front, but at least I didn't manage to mangle it. Um, and this is basically the same as when you come off, except for maybe a bit slower. Ooh, them drift skills. And I think I'm actually going to go and take it along this racetrack around the edge. Okay, so if we come up here, drift it on. Okay, up. Oh. There we go. Okay, and. It's really good to have a fast car. I mean, like doing this with the pigeon, and you, you're not getting out of that. Like, you're going. You're not keeping on it. Sorry, you're going straight out of it. Oh. Oh, and I still kept it over twenty. Yeah. So, doing a pigeon, you're off the edge do it in a car too fast and you're off the other edge. Oh. 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 So bad. How is that not showing up that a tyre is gone? On the f both tyres are gone on the front. Okay, right. If I get this back up to the straight. Oh, that's a really weird noise there. Okay, I've got about seven minutes-ish. And if it isn't bulky enough, like if it isn't a 15 minute video, I think I'll just bulk it out with a bit of comment and post editing commentary. Okay, right, come on. Wow, that is a really high top speed. Okay, here we go. It looks so gradual when you're going at such fast speed. It, it looks as if you're going zero miles an hour and things whizzing along. Oh great. Not until you get to that point. Oh, firm rolls. I guess now it's not Hirochi, it's a Rolls Royce. Applauding myself, applauding myself. <laughs> get it back up onto the straight bit of road because it seems to be able to accelerate really fast so I'm, I'm already up to more than the speed needed on the corners before I even get to them that's way over the speed you need um, okay. oh no way I've already actually done the entire thing I press P Keeping the park break. Ah, no. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that was a, that was the other door shutting. Thought I'd heard something into my room then. Even though I've got, I just got a new on-air light now. Because I, before I just had a piece of paper with on-air written on it. Well, no, I'm I'm recording or streaming was what it said. So I went out today, got a torch. It's not like one of those. It's a point torch. It's a maintenance torch actually. Yeah, like it's you could either tape it onto a helmet. It's it's designed to hold while you're fixing f fuse boxes or something. 
Oh, oh, what's burning? Oh, the fuel tank and the radiator. Yeah, so it's designed so you're supposed to be able to hold it while fixing fuse boxes. But so what do I go and do? I write. Uh, I put. I write on air on a piece of paper. Tape it over. Okay. These sweet drifts. Okay, and release. See how fast I can get to before I hit the wall. See what the speed is as I hit the wall. Oh, 505, I think I saw then. But I seem to be able to go much faster on the race course. I don't know why, maybe it's something to do with friction on the race course rather than here. But now let's see how fast. I might actually be able to get up to the same speeds. Oh wow, I've actually got over the main, uh, the speeds of going on the race course. Ooh. I think I just created the smart car. <laughs> that, there you go. Lesson. That's how the first smart car was created. I've got like two minutes left, so I think I'm going to finish it up. By just smashing it into stuff. I can go and try to hit the underneath of this. Oh, there we go. And what have I managed to do? Ooh. I've managed to actually cheese wedge it. Okay, now I'm going to go and try to do a jump off this thing. I think it's actually best to climb this thing with the... the uh, an off-roader. But who cares? Just do it with this. Who cares if it's a custom car? Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 there we go. I'm up. And I'm down. Um, I actually think that, yeah, coming off the top of this thing up here actually does a slow-mo of time by itself so I think I'm gonna finish it out with that so here we go and there and around to this because this is the one you got to go off And it didn't work. Let's get it back up to the top. Uh oh. Ooh. Imagine doing that with sun gravity. <coughs> sun gravity, sorry. But. Uh, oh, oh, no. Come on. Drive, 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 drive. Oh, the sounds of that suspension. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Turn it around here. And there. Back it up. Okay, almost there. And peep. Go. And it didn't work. Oh well, perfect timing though. So, thank you for watching this episode of BeamNG Drive, and bye!